Ciao. 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 I'm going to give you guys five seconds to guess what I'm trying to say. Ooh. Did you get it? Did you? I don't think so. Hi guys, welcome back to my video of trying out national dishes around the world without leaving Toronto. So today we're going to break them. So, um, I've had classmates when I was in school. I had classmates. I've had projects with them, the Vietnamese. But I don't really have much to say. It's not like I'm trying to be biased, but it's just because I don't really. I feel like I didn't really get to know these people, so I can't really say much about them. And I always say, don't judge a book by its cover, because sometimes you may be like, oh yeah, these people are not good, and they turn out to be the most wonderful people you've ever met. I've worked with Filipino before, I've known Filipino before, I've been in school with them, so that's why I can give much details about the previous video. So like I said, we're going to the Vietnamese restaurant today, so we'll be trying our Vietnamese uh, national dish today. So we're going to see how it goes. Without further ado, let us go to Vietnamese. Welcome to Mimi's restaurant. This is located on Gerard Street East. Fun fact about this restaurant, it's the longest restaurant on the street of Gerard. It's been open since 1994, which is over 30 years now. Wow. So, what I'm having is four. I won't be able to pronounce every single name of everything. I'm not trying to be rude, so I want to be respectful to the culture and not try to make fun of it. I have a short clip uh, towards the end. The lady in the restaurant uh, pronounced everything for me. So she said it's in English and she also said it's in Vietnam language, which is very interesting. You guys will listen and see how interesting it is to be able to speak two languages. I really appreciate that. I'm just going to tell you fact, uh, interesting fact about Vietnam. At this point, you should already know this is going to be coming up. It's my signature. So let's uh, go ahead. Um, Vietnam is home to the largest cave in the world. The capital is called Hanoi. I think so. So the second thing I'm having is this. The name is on the screen. Sorry again. I cannot pronounce the name, but you have some. There's a video coming up. You guys will see. It's the home to. It's a par paradise of tropical fruits. So tropical fruits. We're talking about mango passion uh, dragon fruit passion fruit guava papaya all of those stuff so the paradise like that's the paradise for all those fruits uh yeah this was the second thing i was having so the name is already on the screen i showed you guys earlier so as someone that doesn't like coffee i was so proud i, I was so happy they offered a tea instead so i was like thank god and Vietnam is the world's largest coffee exporter. I don't know number one. I think maybe Utopia. I'm not sure. This is the other thing. This thing that she I'm unwrapping. This is uh, I think 9.95. But the lady offered. She actually gave it to me for free. She's like, you know what? Try this stuff. I was like, wow, thank you. I really appreciate that. So just like Philippines, uh, rice is also their main dish in Vietnam. Which I'm like, what's going on in South and Asia? So you, at your first meeting with a Vietnam person, they can ask you about your age or your marital status. And to the West, it's considered being rude. But to them, it's just a common way of showing interest and establishing connection with somebody. Southern Vietnam is famous for floating markets. You know those markets you see? Like I'm pretty sure you've seen it in a movie. Them selling stuff to people and throwing stuff. So they do that. Like it's famous for that. Uh there are also diverse culture in that country so they are very very welcoming to newcomers so just like i said so the next clip is going to be the lady pronouncing the name of the food i hope you guys enjoy so this one here is the barbecue beef with shrimp on sugar canes vermicelli and it's served with the fish sauce on the side the vietnamese version call is bum bò nướng chảo tôm and what you do is that you pour the fish sauce on top and you mix everything up together and it's ready to serve. And this one here is pho đặc biệt, is the assorted beef noodle soup. It have a combination of the rare beef, brisket, beef ball, and tripe. And it's served with the rice noodle soup. This one here is the crystal clear dumpling with shrimp and pork. And we call it bánh bọc lọc. And you open it up and it's tapioca with the stuffing of pork and shrimp. 
And the vegetable, the bean sprout, and the basil served with the pho, which is the beef noodle soup together. And you could add a little bit of hot sauce on top, it will make everything much tastier. Hi guys, so I just left the Vietnamese uh, restaurant. It was very good. Right now, I am already filled up. I can't eat anything for now. Oh, I don't know, maybe for dinner time. Anyway, so I love the banana stuff that was wrapped. Like, the stuff that was wrapped in that small banana leaf kind of stuff. That was very good. I really, really loved it. And the lady was very interactive. Like, you asked her something. She's like, yeah, it's this, is this, is this. Like, and she actually majored in, like, hospitality and tourism in Rice University. I was like, wow, that was good. Because you kind of, like, got the money of rewards of your school and everything like that. And she gave us this candy, this guava candy from Vietnamese, and we gave her a Nigerian tom tom. I will insert a picture so you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. We told her, oh yeah, this is very good as menthol in it. And she tried it. She said, wow, that's good. So, so we had like a kind of exchange of stuff in bits like for both sides. And it was good. So now I have a different uh, perspective way. I'm going to be like a different way of be looking at Vietnamese people. I had a very good experience and it was very good and the, uh, the food too was really good so guys thank you guys for watching today's video I will see you in the next country